And, and since we have billions of people, and then there's untold other kinds of animals and insects and so forth, this, this one infinite intelligence, whatever it is, has decided, I want to look at myself through the lens of a mosquito and now of the bumblebee, and now of the, the jewel beetle that, that can't even tell a bottle from, from a, a female. I'm going to look at myself from this panoply of perspectives. So you're almost implying there that there's this one consciousness, and yeah. it's just using different organisms potentially as vehicles to understand itself and the nature of reality. That's right. So that would mean that me and you are the same consciousness, but you were born as a scientist in America, and I was born as a... I don't know, an entrepreneur in Botswana with different perspectives in order to understand the reality, which means that we're basically the same That's right. the same consciousness, the same super intelligence or whatever, just manifesting as different eyeballs in different places. That's my, my view. And certain religious traditions do sort of hint, almost say that exactly. Um, you know, like, like Jesus uh, in Christianity, in like Matthew 25 says, you know, I was hungry. And you fed me. I was thirsty. You gave me something to drink. I was a foreigner and you invited me in. 